Nancy's always ready to say yes at 50 years old. Month number four, April, folks. And Will and I had a lot of fun concocting this little April plan. We're calling it the Airport Mile. It's going to be broader reaching than that, but I want you to think about the airport. We've all been there. Most of us has been, have been there when you got a real tight connection and you're at a huge airport like DFW or O'Hare or something like the LAX and it's a huge airport and you got a few minutes to get, get to that connection and you got your backpack and you got other things, your rolly bag, you may be with your family and you're helping them carry stuff. We are going to do one mile around my little Cedar Park, North, North Austin Cedar Park Park here. With the, I'm gonna be heavy burdened, dragging stuff, carrying stuff. But I also want you to think about that situation where you're, you're in a big city and, and the, 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 Uber, the Uber canceled and, and you gotta get somewhere fast and you gotta get halfway across town, downtown or any situation where you gotta get somewhere fast. I'm dressed in my, my travel clothes. I got the deck of gear on, this is how I travel a lot. Got the slacks on, the Lululemon's ABC pants. If you know, you know what that acronym stands for. I do have the ultras on because I always wear the ultras. So we're either in the airport, we're in a pinch, or we're somewhere else and we got to get somewhere fast. You're by yourself, or you might have your family or friends, and there are going to be some people in there that are not always ready, and you may have to help out. So we're starting out with the backpack. I will tell you a little secret about travel. I never check a bag. I don't care if I'm going somewhere for two weeks. I don't check a bag. I'm an old Navy sailor. I know how to fold stuff tight. I can get a lot of stuff in the backpack. The only time I checked a bag in the past 10 or 15 years, 2013 death race when I was going to Pittsburgh, Vermont, and I had to check my axe. I couldn't put that in my backpack, so I had to check a bag there. So I haven't checked a bag since 2013, so that's a little travel tip. That's all. Everything you need in life, you can put right in there. My wife doesn't agree with that, but that's why I might have to help her carry some things. Just to kind of make up for the burden that the people in the airport or just the people around the city, the little dodge and a weave and you have to do, Yancey's going to be dragging his tire with his um, Yancey Camp Trail Toes uh, tire drag system just to add a little burden. You know, we couldn't shoot this at the airport with all the people where you're bobbing and weaving and the other obstacles in life when you got to be always ready to navigate a rough situation. So we said the tire will help out. Here's another thing. It's not like a race. I'm not tapered for this. I don't have my supplements, my, my pre-workout, my beat elite. I got nothing. It's just like life threw you a major curveball and you got to jump on the fly in your collared shirt and your Lulu pants and all your stuff. You still got to get where you got to go. So that's what we're doing today. One mile. And uh, this is how we're going to start. I don't know if anything else, any other obstacles are going to be out there on the trail. But we're starting dragging a tire and about a 40-pound backpack. Let's go. Well, first off, I got a pretty good backpack here. I'm gonna get lucky to have this little chest strap here. You wanna get it nice and tight. We're gonna really bust a groove here. All right. So, 
basically, we just took some bird for the kids. journeys with my husband. She knows. She bends down, tightens the laces on the shoes a little bit, says, let's go. The kids know. We just gotta get ready. It's starting to get heavy here. Got a little uphill. Another obstacle in life. Oh, we gotta get started on the Garmin. That's all right. Let's go right here, see? Taking some stress off the chest. Strategy. Uh, family's doing good. They're staying with me now. Gotta keep the whole family in shape. This, you stay always ready. Everybody in your ecosystem family, friends, neighbors, co workers. A lot of times. They'll follow your lead. You gotta set the example. Set the example. Life's too short. Not be always ready. It's a challenge. Work and life are participants. I want to say yes to some fun journey. Sometimes it's about all about play. I'm not gonna say yes. I'm not doing that. You gotta go. Go catch that flight. Okay. Feeling good. Positive mindset. Yeah. Technically, it sucks right now. But positive mindset. Coach yourself. Even if it's somebody else in the family or the friends They're having trouble looks like somebody else is gonna need a little help to get through the mile we're at the halfway point 44 pound spartan ram piece of luggage something else in life somebody's got to drop off you know what we got to take it for them serve people. You be ready to serve. You never know when the situation's gonna come. So a friend or family member to keep up with this pace, we leave nobody behind. They had to drop somebody off. If you're always ready, you take the burden for them. That's what we do. Running. So right now, we're gonna try to keep Run pace. Run pace. As long as you can. As long as you can. The load's a little lighter. Somebody else. They can now maintain. I gotta go to work now. I gotta stay with them. 11 minute pace. Not good enough. It's not good enough. 50. I gotta be able to carry 100 pounds. Up 10 pace. If my friends are in decent shape, they can do a 10 minute mile pace with no burden. I gotta be able to stay with them. Coming 
coming up on three quarters of a mile. Not 100 meters. Must carry a run. So I'm pissed. Oh my. Game time play. Sponsored our 12 months. Game time. Human. Spartan Decker family. Thank y'all for all the support. Human. Best supplements on the planet. Game time. This is standard. Now it's our play equipment. For youth and adults. On different journeys. Some of us are always ready more than others. If I was by myself, I promise you I'd have dropped a seven, a seven minute mile, seven and a half there, 40 pound backpack, just a tire. But sometime in life, people need you. And you're gonna need help sometimes. We, we live a life fueled by fitness 
and live, love, laugh, and serve big with big, big focus on the serve. That's kind of one of my key mantras with big, big focus on the serve. So be ready to serve, allow yourself to be served, and um, it's a life changer. Be quick to forgive, quick to serve, and we're gonna end with this little nugget. Will and I were talking about this right up here. Life throws crazy stuff at you sometimes, stuff that piss you off and make you angry, pisses you off and makes you angry on the spot. And you'll, we live in the green zone and something fires you up and you go yellow zone. Something really fires you up and you go to red zone. The key piece in life that'll help you so much is develop a pause button. When you feel yourself getting fired up, you hit the freaking pause button and you flush back down to green. You ask yourself, is what I'm so fired up about really and truly a good reason to allow it to steal my joy? More times than not, the answer is going to be, hell no, it's not enough to steal your joy. Don't let simple things steal your joy. So, from Yancey's hometown in Cedar Park, Texas, in Milburn Park. Um, live, love, laugh, and serve big, big, big focus and serve. And do everything you can do to light up the planet today, my friends. Much love.